Hey, good morning, everybody. It's John Mullins here, and I'm a professional coach. I'm a leadership coach. I'm a life coach. I'm a business coach. But what does that term coach really mean? A lot of people have been asking about that lately, and it seems the term itself has become very ambiguous and very loosely term used by um, <clears throat> by many people who probably don't even understand what it means themselves. <clears throat> but there's actually two different types of coaches because when most people that I've learned when they hear the term coach they all and they immediately think a sports coach or a fitness coach a, a health coach uh, why that in itself is a type of coaching there is another type of coaching so there's actually two different types one is directive and directive is more of your your sports coaches, your fitness coaches, your your health coaches. These are these types of coaches are teaching you something. <clears throat> they're teaching you, they're instructing you, they're giving you advice. It's based on their experience, their knowledge, their their wisdom. You're seeking them out and then they in return teach you something because they're helping you achieve your goals to become um, more active. Uh, a better athlete um, <clears throat> to lose weight whereas non-directive coaching is another type of coaching that's where professional coaching really falls in um, this type of coaching is strictly all about the client from day one the the coaching process what we call it focuses on the client because it, it's all about them um, this type of coaching focuses on the whole person. It looks at the whole equation of where they are, what makes that person them, what makes them their behaviors, their actions, the way they observe the world, the way they observe themselves around themselves, and what needs to change in that equation. So if success equals the way you observe, the way the actions you take, and your results, where in that process, if you're not happy with one of those three, your life, your business, wherever you're at in life, how does that process need to, to change? And so that's where coaching, why coaching is so important. Because principally, the coaching process is about change. It's about changing that process and helping you get from where you are to where you want to be and sometimes you need a coach to meet with a coach who will ask you those tough questions who will ask you those powerful questions who will listen to you and listen for the underlying beliefs the underlying tendencies that are showing up in your daily life that sometimes you're not even aware of I just got off a coaching call this morning and it was powerful. We spent 45 minutes talking about, you know, my life purpose and what's showing up, my calendar, and why that's so important. And then we talked about why, what's getting in the way of that. You know, why is it so hard for me to say no sometimes? What's getting in the way, and how can I better manage that? What does that process look like? And so they, he listens to me and he asks me the real tough questions that really re forces me to dive deep into my subconscious thought and, and think about, okay, where am I, what's creating this, this, this world around me? What actions, what behavior, behaviors, what thoughts, whether limited or, um, or unlimited, that's, that's affecting the way that... The, that it's showing up in your life. What do you believe in about yourself? What do you what are your underlying beliefs that may be showing up in your life that you're not aware of? So that's where coaching, professional coaches focus on helping you to become more aware of your of of, of yourself. So most people okay, so a lot of people say, okay John, so what's what why should I seek out a coach? And most people seek out a coach because they want things to change. They want to be different. They're looking for something to change within their life, their business, their, their surrounding. 
or they may have important goals that they want to reach. Um, they come for a lot of individual reasons, and it sometimes it's just helpful to work with that person, you know, until until they're ready to leave or until they're ready until they've accomplished that until that breakthrough has really come and so uh, some people come to be more effective or more satisfied at work or in life some people come to develop new skills to help navigate life's changes but sometimes people want more out of life and they're trying to figure out how to get it and some people want less out of it um, they want less confusion they want less stress they want less pressure, uh, and they're just not, they're, they're not aware of what's getting in the way of that. What is causing that? Uh, in general, people come to coach, coaching, or hire a coach for, their, for themselves or their business because they want a better quality of life, or they want a better business, or they want something to change that's going to help them grow. They want more fulfillment. They want more balance or... And they, they want a process that can help them accomplish that. And so that's the whole process of, of non-directive coaching. Um, so I hope that kind of answers some of your questions. Uh, me personally, uh, I've, been, I've been coaching for <clears throat> quite a while, uh, for about the last five years. But here recently, in the last five, five years, I have really have studied it. And I've, I've uh, become affiliated with the John Maxwell team. I recently just got my, my master's degree in coaching and mentoring. So, and then, so, but uh, coaching to me is really about growth. Um, even though I've, I'm, I'm educated and I understand it, I actually love being coached because it, it draws so much out of me that I'm not even aware of. Uh, just like this morning, um, with 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 my coach he was able to pull so much more out of me and by doing so i have my homework i have i know what i need to be working on and i know the process that i need to do to be able to be more aware in my daily weekly life and how i can become more effective how i can better manage my time better manage my my calendar so um, I hope this, I'm trying to keep this under, you know, under eight minutes, but uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, if you have any, uh, want to understand more about the coaching process, I would love to work with you, work with your business, work with your, your yourself, um, and help you understand what it is and how impactful and how effective and how the coaching process can really help you get to where you want to go in life.